In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to zoom in on a map and then cause a movie to appear and play at that particular location. And then zoom out and repeat the same process at another location. So the movies become tied to the locations on your map. In order to do this, we first of all need a map, and so I've taken this map of the lower peninsula of the state of Michigan and placed it on track number one, and my duration is approximately one minute long. So what I need to do is keyframe my map. So I'm going to double click on it to get into my PIP designer, and we'll make the screen just a tad bigger here so we can see that without anything else in the way. And so now I'm going to edit the keyframes on this map. I want the playhead to be at the very left side, and we're going to set a position and scale keyframe by clicking the diamonds. Then I'm going to move to the very end of the map and set the same two keyframes. I want to make sure it starts out full size and ends full size. And then what we're going to also do is in the middle, we're going to have it be full size for a little bit as well. So let's go to maybe 29 seconds. And we'll set two more keyframes with it being full size. And then we'll leave it that size for oh just a few seconds here. Let's go up to uh, uh, approximately 33 seconds. And we'll set two more keyframes. Now all these have the same value. If we were to play the clip right now, you would see no change. But what we're going to do on either side of these is we're going to create a space where it, it zooms in and freezes on either side. But it will zoom into two different locations. So I'm going to move here and I need to mark where these places are on a piece of paper. Uh, I'm going to zoom in to, let's do eight seconds. And I'll set two more. And how long do I want to be zoomed in? Well, long enough for the movie to play. So let's assume we've got a, a 10 second clip. So we'll go to 18 seconds and we'll set another keyframe key by clicking the diamonds again. And we're going to change the values for these two. Now let's go to the other side. And let's say we, we want to go to, oh, let's rough it out here at 38 seconds and then if I go 10 it would be 48 but I need to set two keyframes here and we'll go to 48 and we'll set two more keyframes okay so here we'll ha we'll have a movie playing in this segment and a movie playing in this segment but first of all we need to change the values here so we're zoomed in on a location and this side a different location. So I'm going to use the arrows to move to my keyframes. And I have this one down. We're going to change the, the magnification. To do that, all we need to do is zoom out. That I press the little icon several times. And then we'll drag any one of the corners of the map. And we'll just zoom this far. There I have the uh, location I want to go to. And so all the adjustments are now set. So I want to stay that way for a while. So I'll click the right arrow. And it'll take me to my next keyframe set. Now I'll right click on this and I'll say duplicate previous keyframe. And I'll do the same thing with the scale. Duplicate previous keyframe. So now I should be zoomed in on these two. Now let's go back to the other area where we're going to zoom in. I'll just keep moving the right arrow here. And what I'm going to do now is we'll call this fit here again. And we're going to change this one again. We'll make it smaller. We'll zoom in on a different city. Enlarge the map. Let's take uh, St. John's here. Okay, now I have these two keyframes set. And so what I'm going to do then is go to the next pair. I right click and I'll say duplicate previous keyframe. 
and I'll right click on the scale and do duplicate previous keyframe. And then we have our last one which should be full size. When I click right click there it's back to my full size and click back on fit. So and this is preparing the map. So I'm zooming in twice and zooming out twice. That's step number one. Step number two is we go to those locations in time and we put our movie on track number two. Now where do I want my movie? Well, I want it to start when I'm zoomed in and I zoom, I'm at eight seconds into the video and I can slide down here and I'll watch my numbers change. And the video can't be on the screen for longer than 10 seconds. I'll click on my cut. And we'll reduce it. As I'm watching the numbers up here. That should be good. Click on OK. And now what I've done is I've designed it so it's on the screen, but I want it. I also need to keyframe this because I don't want it just to pop in and fill the screen. I want it to expand. So I'll double click on my shortened video. We want it to be, let's see, full size in five seconds, something like that. So I'm going to move my playhead over to five seconds and I'll have the position, scale and opacity all set right there. It'll be fully visible and this size. So we go back to the beginning and at the beginning what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it smaller. We'll put it in the center of the screen. Barely visible. Now, I wanted to change one other thing before I go here. I, I want the size at this moment in time not to be full screen. Let's make it so it just fills the, about a quarter of the screen. And so there we go. So I've done that particular video. Now what I, what I do is I move to the other location which was started at 38 seconds in. And I take my other video and I look at my start time and there we're at 38 seconds. I go ahead and I click on my scissors, shorten this one to about 10 seconds and let's just set, we can set the duration here easier than moving the slider. We'll do 929, that's close enough, and click on OK. And now what I would want to do is go ahead and double click on the second video. That should get me into my PIP Designer again. And again we'll move approximately halfway in to five seconds and we'll set our keyframes so we have uh, virtually full size, only this time Let's make this uh, a little bit smaller and we'll put it in the lower quadrant of the screen. And so when it magnifies it will be like this. We move back to the beginning. And at the beginning we're going to set these three keyframes. And we'll make it start in the middle. I'm going to also take the opacity keyframe at this point And look at my opacity scale and I'll make it down to totally invisible. Okay, so this one will start out not only small, but invisible to the naked eye. And now I'll click on OK. And then when we're done, what should happen would be we'll zoom in to one city and see this video emerge, and into this one and see the other emerge. And now we'll show you the finished product. Mm -hmm.